government cannot be enjoying on our behalf. They are buying private shares and people are staying under the bridge. Thousands are expected to take to the streets on Thursday, on August 1st. Nigerians are hungry, Nigerians are tired. We're not even at our lowest, we're below low, you know. It seems that for every one step you try to progress as a Nigerian, the government establishes new ways to make you go down, you know, to make you take like five steps backward. Nigerians are protesting because they are hungry, simple. We're hungry, we're tired. Um, corruption is high, there is no food. There is insecurity. We are not happy generally as a people, even though the statistic shows um, something different. They say we are if either the third. My mentor. My mentor. <laughs> the third happiest, but we are not truly and deeply. So that's why we are out here. Things are not easy. You know, healthcare. We can't. Um, we can't access healthcare. Apart from the fact that there, there is actually quality health care, but health care in general, we cannot afford it as Nigerians. So that's why we're out. You understand? I'm protesting for my kid. I'm protesting for the unborn ones. Us, if it's a matter of us, we don't have a problem. Because we know what we know, and we know where we're heading to. But what about those we are bringing into this world? There is no guarantee that, that they will come here and survive. So I'm here on behalf of my unborn children, and those that, are, that cannot be here. Today we are, we are out here to protest because we want to end bad governance. Everything has changed totally and things are not going well anymore in this country. We can still we are suffering. Look at the masses. We are struggling to eat. Look at the cost of fuel right now. All we are saying is just to end bad governance. We want to leave. We want to leave. Tunibu, please. We want to leave. Well, things are very difficult. No matter how skilled you are in Nigeria, you still struggle to be able to afford basic things. Imagine Gary that used to be 150, in fact, 17 era, just how many years ago. Now Gary is 15. People cannot eat. People struggle to eat. People beg to eat. And just to move, where you would normally spend 15 era to, to go to within town, now you have to spend like five times more. So things are not easy. People get sick and they cannot afford hospital bills. So you see, all of these things and it's been going on for far too long. People are not happy and insecurity is on the rise. You know, all these things put together. People have no choice than to come out and express their grievances and ask for the things that they deserve. We deserve better. We deserve good governance. We deserve security. We deserve good roads. The general masses are really passing through a hell which is hunger, and what attribute to that? Foil uh, subsidy. Once the government can reverse a decision on foil subsidy, I think people protesting here, everybody will go back to various destinations. So that's just the major reason. Nigerians are protesting for one reason. Everybody is hungry. They cannot have access the basic needs of life. So what do you expect? Nigerians are united today, not because of our religious differences, but we are united because we all are going through the same thing, and that is hunger. We cannot access education. We cannot access health care. We cannot access every other thing that we need to live basically in a day. So what do you expect? Nigerians must protest. Nigerians must protest. There are more people at home that do not want to come because they are scared of the safety of this place. We must guarantee the safety of this dear state and this country, Nigeria. Because leadership does not end today. People are seriously suffering and then the government is not doing anything about it. And then you can imagine the energy the government is putting on to stop the protest. Why not channel same energy to the headsman that is stopping people from farming, that is causing this hardship in the bush? If Half of this energy that is channeled against this protest is channeled to these people out there for this insecurity. I think Nigeria will be a better place. Now imagine subsidy, which is the com which is the main thing that the common man enjoys in the nation, and then it's being removed. Nothing is being said about it. At least the first the first four weeks, we were told the amount that was saved for the subsidy, and after that, nothing else. Looting here and there causing serious hardship. Now, 
you are approving 70,000 Naira as minimum wage. How much is a bag of rice? How much is, is a modu of beans? Beans. Beans, 2,500 Naira for a modu. Something we used to buy 300 Naira before. So the hardship is just too much. Electricity tariff. People do not even have, Nigerians do not even have a job. Not to talk of paying their bills. Now electricity, that electricity tariff has gone be beyond what man can even think about. Imagine buying uh, units for a thousand naira, and then they are giving you four units. This is seriously uncalled for. People need to protest. It's a cup of gari now. How much is a mudu of rice? If you are increasing just the minimum wage, I'm forgetting about how people are coping. Is there everybody that is working with state government? Is there everybody that is working with federal government? The answer is no. There are a lot of people on the red side that don't even know about how they will earn salary. People are, people are earning money from just mini businesses and now you are increasing everything. See, the people are suffering, the masses are crying. There is no job opportunity, people are suffering, no food to even eat. How much, if you are talking about the middle of Gary, 1,500 calling on all Nigerians. Let's come out to show the government that the state they are in, we are not happy. Bad governance. Bad governance is in an increase and people are suffering. If my papa did this generation, eh, he for no build house. We for their L and, uh, and uh, like and one blow now for 40 you. How you am build with your 35 One bang of cement is 1,800. Now the cheap one be that cheap one be that one. One block of cement is 10,000 plus. My my papa buy blocks. 88 in a row, and I go come by Abba, Abba, Abba. Check him now. It is sad. You can't emphasize on the fact that this government, this presidency, don't care about our plight. Just some few weeks ago, the presidency acquired a jet of 60 million, and they are about re-encolbishing that, that jet with more than 100,000, 100 million naira. My guy buy yards. We get ocean for Nigeria, save apart from doing away the Lagos. Nigeria is my country, but my plight is to leave Nigeria. What does that say about the country? Uh, sorry, mine is just a message to Nigerian youth. I think it's high time we, we stay woke and fight for our rights. It's not easy, seriously, because we can't, we, can't, we can't be out here and some are indoor like they are scared. I don't even know why it's like that, but it's high time we fight for our rights. And I like what we are doing. May God keep us one Nigeria. In fact, sometimes I used to feel like the government has a caliber of very intelligent people let's just sit down and plan how to frustrate nigerians every day nigerians are tired you know so as much as i believe personally that educating the masses is one of the first ways to you know sustain um, healthy protests nigerians are just tired you know but on our own ends, especially as nigerian students as you can see as we came out today as nigerian students we are doing we are doing our own part to make sure that we educate people as much as we can you know and we'll see how uh if we, whether or not these protests succeed, we know that one of the greatest protests that can happen during a democracy is by your vote. You know, people should come out and vote no matter what in 2027. The protest has already, you know, started gaining momentum even before we were out on the streets because there was actually, um, you know, a word out that there was going to be a 10 day protest, which the government is very much aware of and they tried to stifle it because they know the effect of protest. I'm not even talking about, you know, violent protests. I'm talking about protests in general. So yes, the effect is going to, the effect is there already and it's going to be a lasting one, I promise you. I will be very honest with you. Eventually, if it is sustained, that is, that is if it is sustained, because it is supposed to continue gaining momentum. If by on Sunday, there is more crowd here and nobody is able to cross this road, it is going to cause discomfort to the government and I think something will be done about it.